He won't eat. He doesn't sleep. He wakes up in the small hours crying his heart out. Is there anything I can do, anything he needs? Coffee, Andy? How you doing, mate? I'll grab something at the cafe. I've already slept in. You're not going back to work already? I've told you Ashley's coming over. We still have to sort out the arrangements. Katie's funeral. You can say it. We really need you here this time. Whatever you decide, it's fine by me. No, I know Valentine's Day is cancelled. Sorry. Doesn't matter. Life goes on, eh? I didn't think. Do you ever? I can't get through to him. Please, see what you can do. This funeral has to be sorted today. Good film. Great, good meal. Yeah, fantastic. Um, did, did your mum say what about us being a little bit... Drunk? Overdressed. Do you know, you would never know that Robert were having such an awful time. He was such good company, weren't he, David? Yeah, you uh, seem to have a lot to talk about. Not least the new... The farm shop. I just said she'd ask you. Oh, yeah, it's really exciting. Do you know if we're going to be partners? Maybe we should have Robert and Christy round. Does your mum like curry? Yeah, we'll like, wait until it's all official. Yeah, it practically is. Yeah, maybe, but there's a lot to sort through until we sign on the dotted line. She said you were dead keen. Yeah, we are. Don't you go tell her we're not. David just wants to, you know, get the details right, that's all. Uh, I'm, I'm off this week. I can do some extra hours. Hey, you're on holiday. You need to get out there, have some fun with your mates. Can't be Valentine's cards. Yeah, I didn't get any. Mum got a van load of flowers, though. You hear that, you? Behind you. <gasps> David! You want to go ask Kirk? Yeah, she's top of the street. Well, is there anything else in the van? Half the shop, but nothing else for here. Cheers. Oh, don't worry. I'm sure mine will be just as gorgeous when they finally arrive. Mm. I ordered them day before yesterday. What's going on? Three more Valentines without your dad. <laughs> Go on, just like that. I know. I used to see those flowers at the side of the road. Always wondered who left them. Now it's us. I still miss him, you know. Every day. He'd keep me now and into touch, wouldn't he? No messing. No, someone needs to. I just don't get it, Mum. I mean, we must have got to get the cash together, and then he leaves me on my own. And then when he does bother to turn up, it costs us two grand. Yeah, doesn't make sense. Unless he wants us to go under before we've even begun, but pff, that doesn't even make sense either. Or he could be telling the truth. I know where I put it, Mum. It's not going to move itself now, is it? Which uh, car do you want Paddy to look at? Uh, well, why are you here? To work. Sorry, were you? Well, mate, are you feeling up to this? No, Andy, come on. Sit down and I'll, I'll make you a brew. I'd rather get on with it. I'll, I'll go and have a word. You coming? Uh, no, I just need a quick scrap-related chat, if that's all right. Good luck with that. Oh, pass us them bits off the table, Sammy, would you? She'll be needing her hair stuff. She's staying there, then. I thought you said she could come up. Well, but she can. Any time, the doctors have said, but uh, she's been a brave girl and decided to stay until she gets better. But uh, we could look after her, eh? No, love, we can't. She's too poorly. We can't cope. And neither can she. That night at Wiley's farm. What she could have done. She scared herself half to death. On something. On you. On me. Which is why it's best that she stops there until she gets made better. And then nobody need be scared anymore. There's been many times me and Marlon haven't seen eye to eye, you know. A particular incident with a canoe springs to mind. And? <laughs> Sometimes it, it, it takes the bigger man to take a step back. Maybe cut his mate a bit of slack. Especially if... Especially if his mate's been a bit distracted. You see, I knew something was up. He's been moody. Or well, moodier, anyway. He's had a few issues. Yeah, like what? Issues, issues. 
But the main thing is, he's dealing with them. Yeah, and I'm dealing with two grand's worth of compensation, Paddy. I feel like I've lost my best mate and almost my business, and we are only on day two. You don't have to lose either. Just put it all behind you and start again. Yeah, until next time. Think about it. I hate interviews. Your mind goes blank the minute I'm asked my name. You've got to project confidence and... I don't know, to keep on telling them how much you want the job. Even if you don't. Oh, it's perfect for me. Ten-minute commute, no night shifts. Finn, stop pouring the mail and give it here. Not a single card between us, tragic. <laughs> they expect they want from Aaron. As if. I don't think he does card. I don't think he does brains either. Seeing as him and his even thicker mate can't tell the difference between a decent car and a scrapper. Once word gets round, them two are finished. Mm, I can tell you're really sorry about that. Oh, a pair of lightweight knuckle draggers. Deserve everything they get. We were hardly speaking last night, but then this morning, he came upstairs with a tray, a cup of tea, toast, a rose, a homemade card. <laughs> That's nice. Um, when I opened the card, this huge... Explosion of glitter went everywhere, Lise. Every I mean, it's still in my hair, look. In the back. Oh, look, no, can you see it? <laughs> you clocked in late again. Uh, yeah, had a bit of a glitter emergency, I was just telling Lise. Yeah, well, Lisa can manage to get in on time, you know, even with Belle being in hospital. Give it a go, yeah? Um, I need to get off uh, to see her in, in half an hour. Yeah, Jay said. Right, well, lunchtime's over. Paddy finished. Counselling Adam about Aaron or doing what we pay him to do? Well, the heck Aaron can't fight his own battles is beyond me. <laughs> Says the man who was fighting Adam's last night. Our son is no liar. No, neither's Aaron. But somebody shifted that scrap sign. I both know what they're doing, along with the sabotage themselves. They wouldn't. But the nimby next door would if she thought I might get rid of them. Eric is a shareholder. Yeah, and Val has been chewing his ear off ever since he invested in them. She wants them out, and Devious is her middle name. I think Valerie and I need to have a chat, don't you? See you, You know, it's not fair to expect Dan to do all this funeral stuff on her own. An elf for that. You owe it to Katie. These things matter, Andy. No, they don't. Not to you. You hated her. No, I didn't. But even if I did, it doesn't matter. I love you. And Dad's not here, but you know if he was, he'd say the same. Please. Just do the right thing. How long can one phone be engaged? When you gave him my card details, they said the order had gone through, yeah? With dead sure. Said they'd be here first thing. Uh, 125, please. I can keep calling them so you can get to it. Tell you what, don't keep calling them. Stay on hold and get out of the way. And when they answer, tell them this isn't just about flowers, it's about life or death. Sorry. Cheers, mate. Done <sighs> that wrapping? Uh, no thanks. No, look, just... Stuff that one on us. Yeah. See, sometimes small is beautiful, less is more. Is that your way of trying to tell me that you haven't got me old? No, is it heck? Good. Because otherwise I'd feel stupid giving you this. Oh, you shouldn't have done. Oh, yes, you should. I love this stuff. Mm, me too. <sighs> One smell of that, it takes me right back to that night. Mm, that night. Alicia <laughs> <laughs> Metcalf. <laughs> me, 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 me. Cheers. What's this? Open it and you'll find out. Oh, from one spitting kitten to another. Babe, that is so sweet. Kitten? Song on it and everything. 
Do you know, I would much rather have this than a big bunch of roses any day. Yeah, I, I, I knew you would. <sighs> Happy Valentine's Day, eh? Mm. Mm. Rats. The place will be infested with them in no time. It's like catnip for rodents, scrap. Oh, catnip's a cat thing, not a rat thing. <laughs> Oh, and it's a well-known fact that your average rat loves nothing more than a good gob full of metal. If anybody else uses the S-word, they're barred. I don't want a repeat of last night. We don't either. Yeah, things got out of hand. But 20 odd, not two. Don't need us snapping at each other and all. Yeah. Shall I, um... take these, back then? Oh, you can leave them here. And I might have something for you later, upstairs, if you're good. Hmm. Well, from now on, we keep rows of butter boys where they belong. Yeah, I can agree more. If that means out of my pub, I'll second that. Well, if you ask me, they may as well pack up now, cos when word of this shambles gets out, nobody will even trust them with Noddy's pedal car. What you'd call a result, then? No. A result would be them two beggaring off and playing scrapyard challenge somewhere else. So you'll have to try harder next time. Maybe blow up their office? There's a thought. Thanks for that. There's only one reason Aaron scrapped the wrong car, and I am looking at her. No, pet. The reason they can't tell a knackered car from an unknackered one is because they're a pair of loser ex-lags that can't muster up half a brain cell between them. Oi! They do say the best line of defence is attack. You had motive, opportunity... And a cast-iron alibi. Emma came up to see the place while they were faffing around, and then when she left, I had Tracy on the phone. So go on, Jessica Fletcher, do your worst. Prove it. Thank you for whatever you said to get him here. Yeah. Are those hymns all right? Yeah, fine. And the music? As people sit and wait in church? I think said she loved that song. Yeah, she does. She did. Diane suggested that we ask everyone to avoid wearing black on the day. Chaz reckons it's what Katie would have wanted. And we wondered if you'd like to say a few words about who Katie was, what she meant to you. I know it's tough, Andy, but it needs to be right what Katie would have wanted. Katie's not bothered. She's stuck in the fridge at an undertaker's. You're not the only one who's ever lost someone, you know. How would you have felt if I'd said, oh, just shove Jack in the ground? Lilies. No, Lilies. She, she ate them, so they'd stank her death. Uh, we'll need six pallbearers to carry her into the church, then to the committal. Do you think you'll be able to manage that? The last time we was in church together, I was standing there waiting for her to marry me. And now you want me to carry her back in? In a box? Andy. I can't. Anybody else you want to accuse? Pearl? <sighs> Diane? It's got to be Emma. Well, you reckoned you knew it was Val? Yeah, but it all makes sense. She was there with Val. I mean, she hates me, Chaz, and she threatened me. Did she? Yeah. When? <sighs> a couple of weeks ago. She said that things were going to start turning nasty, and guess what? And even though I've bent over backwards to try and make amends, all of a sudden they do. Oh, did you get the job then? Well, they're going to let me know, but from the way Dr Kavanagh smiled at me... Oh, and when he does, it's like sunshine breaking <laughs> through the clouds. Mm. Can't argue with that. <laughs> I reckon it's in the bag. Oh, let's go and tell her. And it's not just a card. It's a CD and all. What did you send her? Well, I ordered a load of flowers, a dozen red roses, a whole lot. Never arrived. Uh, yeah, of course you did. <laughs> I did! The money's come off my credit card. I've tried to ring the shop, they won't answer, and Alicia thinks that the mystery valentine's from me. Well, all you have to do now is get the money back for the flowers and it's win-win. Ah, not a simple... Oh. The mystery sender is him. I reckon <sighs> Kate was right. He fancies her. No, you're being ridiculous. No, I'm not. Why would he want to go into business with me? A farm shop of all things. With his gorgeous millionaire wife. Fair enough. But whoever sent her that stuff obviously knows her. You wouldn't just send an Adele CD to anyone, would you? Absolutely, categorically not. 
Hey, Lise. How's our bell? The nurses seem to think she's making progress. Oh, well, she's in the best place. I hate leaving her there all on her own. Oh, I'd be happy to come with you next time you visit. Yeah, me and you know. her. Well, I'll go out one afternoon. I'm sure she'll be glad to see a few friendly faces. Well, she doesn't want any visitors, not at the moment. But tell Aaron she was very glad to see him yesterday. I will. Thanks. Got your text. Just wait to see you. Yeah, well, I promised you I wouldn't see you again. What, you've talked to her? She wasn't happy. She reckons if we're ever in the same room again, she's going to go straight to Chrissy. Right, well, uh, I'll sort it. I'll, I'll, I'll tell her we're finished. We'll just be more careful. Oh, until the next time you drop us in it. Or Chaz gets drunk and lets it slip. Have you any idea how much I stand to lose? I, I can't do this on my own. Robert, I can't. I can't sit around and watch everyone fall to pieces over Katie, and I know you can't either. OK, OK, but we have to call things off for a while. I just... I don't see any other way. For how long? I don't know. But until then, you don't even look at me. What can I get you, Pet? Oh, I'll have a lime and soda extra ice, please. Have you got a minute? Well, if it's about work, I will have in the morning, because, oh, I clocked off half an hour ago. <laughs> it's just I'm too down for late shift tomorrow. Well, you know, I can't work. Marlon's here and, and it's half term, Ali. Well, Jace is to tell you that it's that or nothing. Take it or leave it. <laughs> and if you do, can you try and clock in on time, yeah? Oh. Oh! oh. <sighs> Happy Valentine's Day, lovely wife. <laughs> You're offering me alcohol after last night. Well. It would be tragic, wouldn't it, if we couldn't have a glass of bubbly on our first married Valentine's Day? And the kids are with their friends tonight, so we've got the house to ourselves. Wow! Let's drink to us. I love you. Love you too. Mm. That's the oh, table busted! Oh. Right, you, grab a glass. Dry February's over, all bets are off. <laughs> yes! <laughs> Going. Look, I'm sorry, all right? The car, it wasn't your fault and it wasn't mine. It just happened. I don't know how it did, but it just did. It was weird, though, isn't it? It's like someone's messing with our heads. <laughs> like our heads aren't messed up enough, eh? Well, can we just forget about this and start again? It suits me. Good lad. Right. Then start with a pint, all right? Uh, no, thanks. Come on, just the one. Tomorrow. All right? Yeah. Yeah, I am. Well, what about you? We just said we're sorted, aren't we? Yeah, and what about the other stuff? There is no other stuff. Of course there is, Aaron. There has been for ages. But you know you can tell me anything, right? Yeah, of course. Then what is it, mate? What? Some bloke, some mess you're in? Yeah, something like that. Still me heading. Go on. No, it's, it's done now. It's over and done with. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm sure. All right. Chrissy text about the farm shop. Uh, have you replied? Oh, no, because you don't really seem so sure. It's a big deal. Other than them. Her and him, with the big fat checkbooks and the massive house. Them wanting to give us cash to expand our business. Like, that happens every day. <laughs> Not ever. <laughs> we might be selling our souls. Well, then we need to make sure that the price is right. Oh, please, David. OK, I'll text him, tell him we're on. Oh, yeah. We could do with some good news. All this stuff with Katie, look. It's really hit him hard. He's told you, though. Yeah, he had a moment in the kitchen. It's really heartbroken. You know, they used to be really close. Yeah, very close, apparently. David, he's just worried about Andy. No, people have said some really awful things about Robert, but I just think he's really kind and thoughtful. Mm, all round nice guy. <laughs> he's not as nice as you. I 
Happy Valentine's Day, babe. Got a minute? Come on in. You know, I underestimated you. <sighs> Bad idea on so many levels. Empty threats, I thought. A spineless needy cow like her, she'll never have the balls to follow through. Sorry, is this going somewhere? Only my bath's getting cold. I know what you did. With the cars. And I know why you did it. And you know more than me. You were up at the yard with Val. You hate me, and you've got every reason to want Adam to fail. Oh, he'll manage that without any help from me. Not on my watch. See, you wouldn't know this, but when you love your kids, you don't try and smother them. You'll stop at nothing to protect them. When you're not sleeping with your husband's brother. If you even think of trying to set him up again, it won't just be that car that's pulled to pieces. I'm wetting myself here. Well, like you said, when things go wrong, they go wrong fast. And things have only just started for you, so you best watch your back. I'm sorry, Owen, that I've kept quiet this long. But it's time the girls knew the truth. Yes, Owen's facing up to his past next in the first of two trips to Coronation Street.